Dissidia Final Fantasy, within both the, the Final Fantasy franchise and the fighting game genre, it's a fairly niche topic. It's basically that one guy you knew, but it was weird, but hey, he was able to get a small but loyal group of friends. Fast forward a few years later with the city of NT, and it's basically the equivalent of, of Johnny Depp with Amber Heard. Now, judging by this editing style, you probably might be resembling something as Razor Fist. And yes, I personally am a fan. However, I don't have a kick-ass video editor, so I'm basically the fucking off-brand serial of it. Basically, the city of Final Fantasy NT feels like a colossal step backwards. Within the previous Dissidia games, there was a, a great amount of customizations and encouragement of it. For example, Furion. For example, when, he, when he's in the air and you have a neutral circle, he uses his ice attack. It was a good way of keeping distance. When he's on the ground, he basically has an electric chap that can bring you in for punishment. He, then you use this with his HP attack, which is fairly slow, but, but it was able to do a fair amount of damage. And it's basically have a fairly complex fighting system that I have barely even touched the surface of. Now, imagine all of that, but stripped down just for trying to appease an eSport. I don't really like the modern fighting game community right now because it's freaking more towards tournaments and less of a casual setting. This single-handedly fucked the city of Final Fantasy in never hoping of getting a proper sequel. And within both the Marvel vs. Capcom universe. Another example, the game speed. The game, within the previous games, there was a certain amount of speed to it, where it feels fairly fast and frantic. You go up, down, left, right, diagonal, wherever. However, this game feels slow. I can actually understand how some players felt after playing Street Fighter 4, how this game personally felt fairly slow. Basically, after finally downloading the City of NT for free on Steam, no, this is the fourth time that Minor Final Fantasy sack was in my mouth. And, it, and no, I did stutter. This is the fourth time. I can remember the first three times where I got up close and personal with, with Minor Final Fantasy sack. Other than two mobile games, Final Fantasy Dimensions and Final Fantasy All the Bravest. The third time was playing Final Fantasy 13, but no, basically what I'm saying is this is the fourth damn time that this game fucked me. So basically what I'm saying is do not pick up this game even if it's for free. Also, and additionally, on disc DLC. Just stick with the original games, either on the real PSP or hell, even an emulator. Anything, just stay the hell away from this game. Until then, I'm Mr. Overlord, and I'll catch you on the next episode.